background check for babysitter. In this video we're going to go over uh, local resources people have available to do a background check on babysitters and uh, daycare providers and uh, just about anybody um, coming into the house maybe to do any sort of work. Um, so uh, to get started uh, go to sheriffsdepartment.net uh, we did the research here for you and we have local res background check resources for uh, all 50 states here I'm gonna go ahead and pick a random state and uh, we'll uh, uh, go over the procedures within that state and pretty much almost every other state will have something very similar except for a few states that make it slightly harder uh, but other than that it's uh, gonna be very similar so let's just go with Idaho and uh, one of the first options you have available to you is a name check. This is an instant uh, record scan. It doesn't just do public records. It also does um, databases that aren't necessarily public like cell phone numbers, social media, uh, the deep web type of uh, databases. Um, and it's it looks at the nation it, it gives you records on the national uh, level so you're not necessarily just uh, stuck to a particular state you uh, and, and people do move around nowadays and they travel so there could be a paperwork trail somewhere else and it's a good idea to get that big picture view and if you really if you want to zoom in I like to do both the national and of course the local the local is always going to give you the most up-to-date records uh, they are it is coming from the source so they are technically the best records um, so when it comes to background checks you have your essentials court records criminal records uh, driving records if let's say a babysitter would need to be driving around maybe maybe it's a good idea to uh, to check that out as well if it's a registered business you might want to do a business lookup uh, prison records can be checked and then of course the sexual offender registry also now these are state uh, statewide databases you also have the opportunity to uh, zoom in on the county and check county records so you have court records arrests mugshots things like that property records of well for this situation maybe property records aren't needed um, but uh, definitely court records and possibly mock shots arrests uh, warrants that sort of thing should be checked at the local level also so I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, the two of the cru more crucial ones here which would be um, background uh, the state each state will have some kind of variation of a background check which which is pretty much criminal records within that state so what does limit you is the fact that it it is coming from a single state so you got you either if you know where the previous addresses were uh, or uh, maybe check the neighboring states uh, just make sure if you want to make sure, make sure like nothing is missed like you, you might want to look into uh, if the person could possibly have records outside the state that they're currently residing in. So uh, what uh, most states will give you an option to do is a fingerprint background check. Uh, these are going to typically require uh, some paperwork and then of course a name uh, based background check which is uh, this is probably going to be uh, the more simpler one uh, and they're pretty quick the state does charge about twenty dollars to do this which is pretty reasonable um, and so that's how a criminal check works at the state level now you also have court records and pretty much any any criminal activity eventually ends up going through the court system so if there are any um, any if, if they ever saw a judge uh, it's probably going to it should show up in the court records and so a lot of times at the county level at the state level you can actually do this for free so uh, at least a docket search is typically going to be available and uh, if you do need to pull up more detailed records if there is a particular maybe court case that's kind of concerning uh, sometimes that might require a payment and at times you can also just stop by the local 
court of clerk's office and they do have uh, special terminals where you can pull up that information also just uh, a piece of information to know there um, and then also you have obviously you want to check the uh, sexual offender registry and possibly maybe uh, prison records should be looked at this database is also can also be searched for free you just need a first and a last name if they were ever in the state uh, prison system you're able to do that uh, you also want to look into uh, the uh, sexual offender uh, registry and uh, every state will have a database uh, sometimes you can do that at the county level also so uh, come on down to uh, sheriffsdepartment.net and uh, get started on your background check for a babysitter or whatever it may be uh, we provide official resources here for you so uh, or you can just uh, I'll drop a link in the description or you can just type it into your browser that's sheriffsdepartment.net thanks